Hey guys, it's Kyle from Command Creativity here and iOS 11 was just announced at WWDC and it has a lot of new features. So let's take a look at what's new. Alrighty, so let's take a look at some of the brand new features within iOS 11. Now, many people before the keynote at WWDC thought iOS 11 would host a brand new design change and have many, many new features just like how iOS 7 was launched. But iOS 11 is more of like a refinement to iOS 10, hosting a lot of design changes that are small and also redesigning how some apps look. So across the board, animations on iOS 11 are a lot better. They're smooth and they're fast and very efficient. So opening up some applications, keying your phone as a brand new animation, which speeds up the overall operating system. Also, some applications got a brand new design refresh, like the calculator app, how it has a dark mode. This makes me wonder, I wonder when a dark mode will come to iOS 11. Maybe with the iPhone 8, I'm not sure, but that just gives me an idea. And also the App Store got a brand new change with its brand new Today View, which gives you some articles on developers, tells you about some brand new applications, has some videos on some certain apps, and basically is a hub for anything App Store related. Also has a filtered game view where it only shows you game applications and also a strictly filtered app filter, which will show you applications like Uber, Facebook, Twitter. Also the updates page and search page are the same, just like in iOS 10. Now Siri also got quite an improvement. Now iOS 11 is a lot better with computer learning and figures out who you are and what you like to do on your device. It's kind of too early to figure that stuff out as it's day one, but Siri will become a lot smarter. So just like opening up Siri, it's the same as in iOS 10, so long press the home button. What's the weather like tomorrow? It doesn't look so nice tomorrow. Down to 50 degrees with thunderstorms. So as you can see, Siri works just the same, but it has some brand new features within it and makes it a lot smarter. And also the voices sound more natural, which is great. Now, Control Center. Control Center has been the go-to destination for changing some settings on your phone. But guess what? Control Center actually has customization this time, so you can add certain things to your Control Center. So I just added some presets right here, like an alarm, guided access, do not disturb while driving, low power mode, and screen recording. But you can also add notes, magnifier, TV remote, text size, voice memos, all of that. So when you swipe up, all of your stuff right here, quick access, is available in the control center. So that just makes me so happy and I'm glad to see this. And when you 3D touch on some options, it'll present some more things that you can toggle. So copy your last result in calculator and open some more quick access toggles within the control center. And also 3D touch on the music to see more details of your music track that's currently playing. So that is great. Now also the notification center got a little revamp and it looks very similar to your lock screen. So it'll display your most recent notifications right here, but if you swipe up, it'll show you your recent notifications. Now you can press your home button to go back. You can swipe left to get to your widgets page. You can also swipe right to get to your camera. Also you can swipe up all the way here Oops, if I can get it, to go back to your home screen. So the notification center is great with the redesign and the many more features added. Also the camera application got some new features, so open that up. Now right off the bat, if you like taking pictures of objects on your desk, you get this little indicator that tells you when you're level. So you can make sure you're getting level pictures when you're overhead of an object, which is great. And it's a small feature I found and I thought that was incredibly useful. Now also, they have some that you can use, which makes taking pictures more enjoyable if you like filters. But also, live photos, when you turn that on, they have some more features you can customize after the fact. So let's take a live photo. Okay, that's my live photo. So now let's open up the photo to show you what kind of features we have within the new live photos interface. So for instance, if you swipe up on the picture, you'll be greeted with some effects. 
Now you can make a regular live photo, you can loop the photo, bounce the photo, or even take a long exposure, which is so cool and I'm glad they implemented the live photos feature to have more settings than just a strict live photo. So those features make taking pictures on your iPhone more enjoyable, and I'm sure many people will get a lot of use out of those new features. Also some smaller things within the settings application um, are prevalent within the new OS. So if you go to their settings application and go to your notifications section, they have this brand new toggle, which is called show previews, similar to the Apple Watch, where if you get a notification, it won't display all content. You have to tap on it to get all the content. I think that's very similar to this. So it won't show the content of the notification if you have one of these toggles selected. So it just makes more of your notifications private, which is very interesting. Also general and going to your iPhone storage. This has a little bit more of a updated user interface. It shows your iPhone storage laid out nicely, just like on Mac OS Sierra. It will also recommend how you can save space on your phone by deleting old conversations, reviewing large attachments, and storing all of your messages in iCloud, which I will for sure do when that totally becomes available. Also, they implemented this new emergency SOS feature. So for instance, when you toggle this option, which is auto call, when you press your lock button five times, it'll present a countdown, it goes on from three to one and will call emergency services. So if you're in one of those situations, having this quick emergency SOS feature is fantastic. And you can also cancel that request easily as well and set up emergency contacts in the health app. Now lastly, a couple small changes within the messages application. So let's say I'm texting one of my friends here, his name is Josh. Now when you tap on this App Store icon right here, before it used to present this recently used applications and sometimes that was a little harder to use and a little bit slower at times. But now they have this toolbar down here where you can get access to all of your applications with just swiping left and right, which makes using this that much more enjoyable and that much faster to use. In addition, Apple Pay for person-to-person -person payments will be an app in iMessage, which will be great, and I can't wait to test that out when the fall comes. So iOS 11 is jam-packed full with features and refinements that make the operating system that much more enjoyable to use.